Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're testing out a brand new battery backup solution for the new NAS build. What's going on guys, Devin from Reef Dudes. So today we are testing out the all new Vader Power Lithium Iron Phosphate 100 amp hour battery as a sweet potential solution for the new NIOS build. Now shout out to Vader Power for hooking me up with this one. I am super stoked to check it out and it's a pretty awesome premium battery. Now, a couple cool standout things initially in my mind. Uh, one, it has an internal heater. So if you're using this outside, connected to solar, in your garage, so, and you live somewhere like colder where it has the potential to freeze. Now, normally that could kill and hurt your lithium ion phosphate battery, but with the internal heating pads, it will heat it up and allow it to not freeze so you can keep on charging it and using it um, in those extreme conditions. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the other really cool feature with this one is this one has a smart BMS. So it comes with an app, which is cool because I have never had a battery with an app before. I can see the state of charge in it. I can see how many volts, how many watts it's using. Uh, when I was charging it up, I was watching it and I could see kind of the state of charge growing. I can see how many watts and amps are flowing through the battery. You can check the cell voltage and the balancing, which is really cool. And I'm assuming this is also going to tell us how much draw is coming from the battery. So we can know how much our power heads, how much return pump, how all the stuff is sucking it out. And why is this important? Well, if you, if I'm in a short term power outage, I want to run all my flow. I want to run all my power heads. If I'm in an extended long term power outage, it's going to help me better manage my power to know how much power is getting sucked from the battery and how much runtime I have left. So I'm very curious to see, you know, how much all my MP40s are gonna draw. So let's hook it up and let's pull the plug on them and let's find out. Now I did make this little battery hookup harness in a prior video, so definitely check that one out if you wanna see it, but I essentially use the Ecotech battery backups, um, trimmed them after the fuse and put on a ring terminal. So it was very easy to make. And for this really easy, all we have to do is attach it to the ring terminals to the bolts on the battery. Plug them into all of our MP40 controllers. And I'm gonna add on the booster pack for the M2 as well. So that is gonna run complete flow on the tank once I actually get it set up to the NIOS. So in a power outage, the tank should not miss a beat in terms of flow, which is your essential life source for the system. Okay, so now we've got it hooked up. We can pull all our power plugs and it should kick over to battery backup. And we can see all of our MP40's drivers are still running. Now the super cool thing is I can see exactly how much power it is pulling right now. So I'm pulling 1.42 amps and that's 20.6 watts. Now up here I have my estimated runtime of 70 hours and 48 minutes. Now the wattage, they are on reef crest mode so the wattage is jumping anywhere from about 20 to up to 45. Right now I'm at about 52 hours. So that's about two and a half days of running MP40s at their 20, 30% power for four of them, which is pretty solid. So if I add in the return pump, same thing, that's probably gonna give me about two full days of runtime with flow. Now this is very valuable data, right? So now I got 99%, you know, 55 hours of flow. So if for instance, I'm like, okay, you know, I need a little more runtime. Maybe I unplug one of my MP40s and let three run. Now it just jumped up to 76 hours. If I unplug another, a second MP40, now I'm only running two of them. So now I'm up to 133 hours, right? So I've just doubled my runtime. So now, okay, now I'm up to four days of battery backup time for the pumps. So being able to actually see this data and manage it in real time is a really cool way to kind of keep your tank going those extended power outages. It's really awesome to be able to make those decisions. So after unplugging those, I'm up to anywhere from about 118 amp hours. So that's about five, five days of runtime, which is gonna keep your tank going for quite a while. Um, now realistically, if you know, you're on desperate times, you could just run a single power head and probably keep things okay. Um, but again, more flow the better. And majority of the time where I live, you know, my power edges are less than a day. You know, it's four hours or eight hours. So I'm gonna leave all my flow running and they'll be completely covered by that. So I think having that app and that data is very valuable, you know. So it's, you know, 130 to 150, 118 to 150 hours, depending on what wattage it's drawing from Reefcrest. But yeah, so that is super duper cool. Um, I think this is a wicked addition to the battery backup line. Now, one question I do get asked is, I know like the EcoFlows and some of those people ask about, uh, the only problem, like those do work for powering a pump directly, uh, but the problem is you lose a lot of efficiency because you're converting your DC to your AC 
And when you do that, you lose a certain percentage of efficiency. Now, a lot of those are only about 256 watt hours, where something like this is 1280 watt hours. So you get about five times the runtime, not even counting the efficiency gains from not going AC to DC, or sorry, DC to AC, then back to DC again. So if you have the potential to run your pumps directly off DC, it is 100% the way to go. Um, and also if you are buying a battery, the lithium iron phosphate is really, the main sell for me is the life. You buy them once and you're set for essentially the life of your tank. If you only do a 30% depth of discharge, um, so you only pull it down about 30%, which is like the average power outage, it's gonna last you 20 plus years. If you were to completely kill it 100% every single day, you would still get a couple years out of it. So I think it's still about 2000 cycles if you 100% killed it and recharge it every single day, which realistically no one's gonna do that. So you're gonna get 10, 20 years out of it. So buy it once, you're set for life. It's probably gonna outlive your tank. And yeah, it's a really cool way to go. So again, big shout out to Vader Power for sending me this one to check it out. I'm very stoked because it is a sweet solution to do a battery backup on the new NAS build. Um, and I really can't say it enough how cool the app control is on this. And I mean, you can turn the battery off, you can see its cycle count, you can see you know, the single cell voltage, so if it's balanced where it's at, some protection mode, you can see how much power is coming in and out to charge it, see where it's at. So you can make smart decisions. You can figure out, you know, okay, do I run, want to run my whole tank or do I want to just pick a few devices to run if I know my power outage is going to last a couple days. So it gives you the data to make those smart decisions. And yeah, so super, super cool, super stoked for it. I will, of course, throw a sponsored link to this in the description below. Shout it again to Vader Power. And if you guys got any questions on building your own battery backup, as always, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next video.